All right. Welcome to the All Seasons Mobile RV channel. Uh, we're going to be working on this Montana today. A uh, couple of issues. Uh, uh, it's got air conditioners freezing up. Uh, we're going to see if it's got air leaks. And the sewer tank. I um, believe, uh, believe what happened the customer used the tank flush without opening the commode valve, or without opening the guillotine valve, and uh, hopefully it didn't damage the tank. I hope it just, uh, hope it just dislodged the, the rubber grommet in the top of the tank. And I'm hoping we can just put a grommet back in it and uh, put the tank back up in there where it belongs and hopefully get her going. <laughs> oh yeah, just kind of like I thought. There's a uh, significant air leaks. The uh, the air dam between the the uh, exhaust and the intake is practically uh, practically non-existent. So we're gonna put some aluminum tape on it and uh, seal this thing up, and the the freezing up thing should go away. Uh, oh, and you know what? We'll put the freeze. We'll put the freeze sensor in the coals too. Uh, that will probably uh, probably help a lot too. <laughs> all right. Okay. Got her all sealed up as best we can. Got the freeze sensor in. I don't know if that's gonna show up at all. It shouldn't freeze up anymore. Hope. Okay. We're going to pull this commode up. Um, get the water line unhooked first. You know, Cameron, I need a half inch wrench too. Inch wrench. Yeah, just a regular wrench, please. Put the towel down to catch any water. You always get a little bit of water, even though you try your best to drain it. It's not. Now we're gonna take the two two nuts off. To hold the hold the uh, commode to the floor, and then the commode's ready to lift right off. On each side. Big difference in a uh, residential commode and a uh, RV commode is there's there's no wax seal on the floor. Uh, that's one major difference. Another major difference is the fact that an RV toilet doesn't have a trap like a residential toilet. So the commode actually has to hold the commode actually has to hold a little bit of water. In order to uh, keep the sewer gases where they belong, so it's ready to come up. All right, now, like I said, we are going to uh, pull the uh, closet flange and the pipe up out of the floor. Hopefully we can see uh, what's going on with this tank. So we're going to do that right now. Oh yeah. 
don't want to drop anything down in there either because it's gone if you do. Trust me, I know that one the hard way. That's exactly what happened. All right. Well, this is actually best case scenario. The uh, rubber grommet is missing. So we should be able to just put this tank back up in there where it belongs, put it back under its mounts where it belongs. Hopefully, just reach down through this hole and put our new grommet in. And Put the uh, pipe back in and set the commode back, and we should be good to go. We hope. That's the plan. All right, we're going underneath now. Okay, we're gonna drop some of this belly. I'm actually. May not be the proper thing to do, but it's really the only realistic thing to do is to a lot of times just split this belly and uh, the only uh, only practical way to do this. I mean, you know, we're in the field. We're not in a shop. We're crawling around on the ground, and uh, I mean, we've got cardboard down, but. We're crawling around the gravel, and if it's wet, mud. So, really, this is this is the only practical way to do this. I do this all the time, so it's it's uh, not that big a deal. I put it back. Uh, I'll show you how I put it back, and and you know, I mean, you can't. You can't tell. When I get done with it, you can't even tell it's been done. Hopefully, hopefully, we're not going to get any nasties out of here. I hope. Because we do. It's going to be right on my head. We don't like that when that happens. Alright. I split the belly. Now I gotta get a bunch of screws out. Self tapping screws. Uh, actually, just gonna cut the camera off for that because that's probably gonna be pretty loud on you guys. Uh, it, it's pretty straightforward. I don't know how well y'all gonna be able to see, but we're gonna start we're gonna start peeling this uh, peeling this belly back so we can uh, see that tank. This is where we could run into the Brown Niagara Falls. Just watch yourself, camera. Let me get that. Keep my mouth closed. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Keep your mouth closed. Well, try and stay. Try and get your body out and under it if you can, just in case.
well. That, that was uneventful. <laughs> <laughs> I like it that way. Got just a little bit of water on the cardboard. Nothing on us. There's your cardboard. That's how, that's how field mechanics do it. We call these, we call these field creepers. But like I say, I ain't, it just, it would not be feasible to drop 20 feet of this belly out here in the field like this. It, it's just, just not feasible. Um, if you were in a shop, you know, cement floor and all that, yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't dream of doing this, but, but, uh, the way that, uh, way that we're working here, it's the only way to go. One side of that tank slides up under, I believe it's just a permanent structure, uh, welded to the, one of the, uh, cross members in the frame. The other, the other side should have a removable, um, piece that holds the tank up. So we'll take it out, put the tank up there where it belongs, put the, put the bracket back in that holds the tank, and hopefully go up to the top and put the new grommet in and move on. Let me get one of the screws out here. Um, you want me on the other side? Yes, and grab, grab the light when you come under. It's it's under here. Just grab it. We'll just bring it with you. Oh, you do have some drippage here, so oh, okay. kind of stale. Oh man, uh, go grab a three-eighths ratchet wrench. Right. We'll have to ratchet that one out. Oh, one of the bolts, one of the self-tapping screws that holds the the brace, the the removable brace, is up beside the tank. I love when they do that. So we have to actually uh, can't use the can't use the impact driver. We'll have to actually wrench that one out. But I got ratchet wrenches, so it's not that bad. Got a little bit of drippage here. I don't know whether y'all be able to see it. But it's not bad. I've seen, I've been in a lot worse <laughs> uh, in my 20 23 plus years of working on RVs. Uh, over 21 is on my own. It's all season for the RV service. We'll wrench this one out. I'll get this one here and then come back up. Yeah. screw out. So you hold this tank up. Do not let that tank fall. You hear me? It's, there shouldn't be you hardly any. There should only maybe be a gallon of water or something in this corner, so it shouldn't be very heavy. Uh, you, know, you just you just hold hold it here All right. firmly, okay? I do not want that tank falling out. Watch guys. Actually, gonna let this side drop 
a little. Put this side up in here. You're going to have to come so you can see. I guess we don't have to worry about that side too much. We just need to get... So we're getting it on here? Yeah, it needs to go up here. Okay. There you go. You're, you're there. Let me get there. Alright, straight up. I'm almost there. Okay. Coolness. Alright, you're going to have to... Uh, Stick screwing at <laughs> that, that insulation's nasty. I'm just wiping the forehead all over. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta love it, folks. Uh, trying to get these holes lined up on this brace, get the screws back in it. Yeah. There, I think you're good. Maybe. Is that one? The bottom one, maybe? Oh, the top one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the top one. Let me have a screw. I'll tell you what. Uh, just for green to get, run that screw in from the outside. Okay. With the impact driver. You don't have to run it all the way in. Just run in a little bit. That'll hold it until I can get this screw in the right way. And we'll take that back out. Other way. Huh? Other way. That's good. That's good. Awesome. There we go. All right. Well, best case scenario happened. Every now and then you get lucky. Now, all we'll have to do after we get it gloved up, reach down that hole, put our new grommet in, slide our pipe down in there and we're good to go mission accomplished as long as I don't drop anything in that tank <laughs> but the good thing is this is right there so I can reach it <laughs> I've never done it like this before time I've ever installed a grommet it was just the tank was out on the ground because we were installing a new tank but luckily this tank didn't get damaged when it got pressurized it just blew this rubber grommet out it blew the I guess when it did when the pressure when the tank got pressurized it uh, probably swelled that tank up. As you know, when you when you swell up a square tank, it's going to get smaller some direction. Apparently, it got smaller. It got smaller on the uh, on the sides where the brackets hold the tank in are at. Well, by golly, I think it was just that easy. <laughs> Make sure it all feels good underneath. Well, what do you know about that? It was just that easy. Oh, I'll get the insulation and stuff out of the way here. Stick the pipe with the closet fan flange back down in there and we are looking good man just kind of wiggle that down in there
So yeah, come out pretty much set straight across. Didn't it? I hate wearing rubber gloves. My hands sweat so severely. You see how much sweat's inside them gloves? I have them on for what, two minutes? back on. on each side. I don't want to over uh, I want to over tighten these faults. Everything's plastic. All you gotta do is just snug them up real good. Make sure the, the commode doesn't wiggle. That's good enough. One of them screws, one of them screws holding that uh, floor flange is sticking up. Apparently, because hmm. I've got it snugged up, and it's still rocking. So I we'll have to pull it back up and uh, see if one of them screws is sticking up a little bit. I'm seeing anything sticking up. Okay. I'm sure there's nothing. Huh? It should be okay. I don't know why it was going to run. I've had that happen before. Just take it up, look at it. Don't find anything wrong. Put it back on and it's good to go. I don't know. I don't know what happens. One of those mysterious mysteries. There we go. I think the flange was up off the floor hmm. a little bit on one side. On this side over there. Put the water line back up. Have my helper go out and cut the water on, and I'll make sure we ain't got no leaks. Get y'all adjusted here. All right, now we're gonna put the belly back. I don't know how much this I'm gonna video. But we'll we'll video some of it. Any camera just got a little. Oh my gosh, y'all fell over. Are you okay? <laughs> Hope nobody got injured. Let's put the belly back. I didn't do the hard side, did I? I'm going to get on the pipes. I'm Okay. Oh, the way I put this belly back together where I split it, I cut a fern strip that lays up on the frame on both sides. And uh, we're going to screw this side of the belly to half the fern strip, screw the other side of, to this, and, and uh, clean it with uh, uh, clean it with alcohol. Put a piece of uh, Gorilla Tape across there and Nobody will ever know that the belly was split. I'm not going to get any video of that, but uh, yeah, that's how that works. Okay, the belly's all put back. And there's that, there's that seam. I'm going to clean it up 
I'm going to clean it up with uh, rubbing alcohol and uh, put some Gorilla tape over it and uh, it'll be good as new. We're using rubbing alcohol, not drinking alcohol, in case anybody was wondering. You clean clean this belly good with rubbing alcohol. Uh, grill tape sticks pretty good. Otherwise, it don't stick. We got some areas over here around this sewer pipe. I'll tape up too. Grill tape sticks better too when you can actually push up on it. And since I've got that, since I've got that furring strip up there, that helps with that too. So you can, definitely makes a lot better contact. See that? Good as new. Ah. Uh. We'll uh, crawl out none of this beast and uh, do a quick little wrap up video and we're out of here. On to the next job. Well, all right. That, uh, that went pretty smooth. Um, I mean, best case scenario all the way around on that uh, uh, the the tank had just uh, when it was uh, pressurized by the uh, when they put the uh, the tank flush hooked the tank flush up to city water supply and turned it on without without opening the, the drain valve on the tank they pressurized the tank uh, blew that rubber grommet out dislodged the tank from its bracket um, so, I mean, it was just, it was pretty easy peasy, uh, just, uh, went up and, you know, just put the tank back, put the grommet in, put everything back together, and it's good to go. So, um, uh, anybody that endured this whole video, thanks for watching, and, uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you think you might want to see other videos, please subscribe, um, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. This camera's funny because it's backward. Everything's backward. But uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment. Uh, you know, if you think there's a better way, or you see something that you think would work better, put it in the comment box. Somebody will read it. All right. Thanks, everybody.